Hi guys, good afternoon. Today is um, May May 16 at am or 15 Monday and it's been a while Nandito ko sa greenhouse and um, today um, bumalik na si Luke sa school today because probably, you probably don't know last week uh, absent siya guys because of chicken pox so the, the whole week last week absent siya a cough as well from Luke kasi si Luke laging nahawaan ng mga cough and cold and whatever sa school niya so, ayun anyway guys nandito ako sa greenhouse obviously and meron lang ako ipapakita sa inyo and update sa garden natin kasi yung ano ko guys yung mga peas ko I planted it last month probably they're already tall Pero, they're almost finished kasi the, I think it's the snail or slugs, one of them, has been eating it and now they're almost finished, like before it can even start to do their, you know, veggies. Wala pa nga siyang bunga, wala na, naubos na, it's gone. So, I planted another batch, hopefully this, this one will make it. I don't know what to do guys so I did try to put some fence on my piece and put some netting on and I hope that one will stop I hope that one will stop the slides from eating it I'm gonna show you so ito yung ano natin guys our newly planted um peas Let's see it says here May 22. 22? Anong na ba ngayon? Bakit 22? Hold on guys. Ano pala yan guys? May 8, 2022. Ano ba yan? May 8, 2022. And, 100% guys. Kasi I know this one. Tiningnan ko na ito kanina. There's one here. Um, It's coming up as well. It's coming out. Like this one. These two are the last one that comes out. But yeah, I think... I think it's 100% they're gonna come out so I'm pretty pleased with that one and they're so quick qu they quickly grow and ito naman yung marigold natin and yung nag isang chamomile that was so tiny I, I don't know where I saw it parang ano siya na hindi siya nakasali sa ano niya, kabatch niya so so I tried to plant it in that pot and it's growing so ito naman dito as you can see all the tomatoes that you can see on this uh, raised bed are volunteer tomatoes yung mga tomatoes na nahulog from last year from our plant the seeds germinated in there you can still see some of the tomato peels on the top of the compost Ayun guys, our uh, baby cucumbers in the corner and our ampalaya better uh, melon and the patola is the lofa then we have two habanero chilies here one of them I bought from um, the garden center and one is from Juvie and we have parsley and we have another cucumber on on the corner that cucumber is ano um, I grow it from seeds I bought seeds from the shop and it's the long ones so we have a baby ones and the long ones and all these tomatoes I think I posted it on Facebook marketplace but if it's not going I'm gonna bring it to look school and donate it together with the others so we have few tomatoes here this one is uh, I don't know oh, hold on guys this one is from Juvie Juvie guys she gave it to me crimson crush tomato I think that's the name crimson crush tomato and this one is Lizano F1 Lizano. I don't know what that looks like, 
And this one I just grew it from the seeds. A shop bought tomato that's called Ryoja. I don't know if I pronounce it right. But we'll see what it looks like when it grows. So these are the tomatoes that I told you about that I will take and donate to school. Look school. Yeah, that's all of them. And we have this one. It's from Juvie as well. It says Gore Goodness Delight, I think. And then we have lemongrass, garlic, and all three of those tomatoes on this on the wall side. They are my dwarf veranda tomato, so um, I bought that from the seeds from the shop. And yeah, some of them I give to Juvie as well. I think one. This one is um, a volunteer. Then another aubergine. And there's two more aubergines there. I think I've shown this to you before previously. And another habanero chili. Then I put marigold on the front. And I got three more aubergines on the green pots right here. And you know that it's very warm inside here in the greenhouse. And the sun is glaring. It's so bright in my eyes. So anyway, as I was talking about my aubergine, I planted a lot of them because Luke helped me to put the seeds last time on the cell, seedling cell. And he put so many seeds in one cell. So I got so many uh, seedlings. I've kept five of them. And the rest, some of them I gave... I don't know if I gave one to Juvie, I don't think so, but the rest I sold it on Facebook Marketplace. I sold 24 pounds. I only sold it for one pound each. So that's not bad, isn't it? I can buy compost from that money. <laughs> anyway guys, I'll show you the rest. Tears or um, grown from the tomato Ryoja I bought from the shop. So look at this one oh they got flowers already so i don't know if i'm keeping that one it's quite big it's bigger than the rest of the of this and then i got one over there on the far back i'm not sure if it's kale or um i'm not sure if it's kale or cabbage i think i planted kale but hmm, anyway i got pumpkin here I got three of these successfully germinated. The rest, I think there's like six seeds and or five. And there's only three that germinated. And I'm keeping two. This one, I put this on Marketplace. If no one will buy it, I'm going to give it to the school as well. I'm going to donate it. So, we have another three more veranda dwarf tomatoes here on the pots and they have flowers as well thankfully they're looking good and healthy and you know look at the body of the tomato guys they're quite fat isn't it fat like me <laughs> and we got cayenne pepper shop i bought it from the shop as well the seeds we got two and this is another one, the same one on the corner. I think it's probably kale, but I could be wrong. It could be the cabbage, who knows. And more um, tomatoes. I just pulled these tomatoes from our um, raised bed here inside the greenhouse. And another tomato over there, it says Giganto Tomato. This probably means it's gonna be a big giant tomato that's from Juvie guys Juvie's kitchen check her channel and our lemongrass in the corner so got more lemongrass over here right now I'm gonna show you the what I did outside ta-da <laughs> so this is my this is the corner near Luke's treehouse and 
in this pot we have potatoes it's not out yet and we have our um, carrots over here there's already few of them especially on the sides that got eaten away by the snails so today I put some sticks in there and I bought this one uh, so that the net will not just fall hopefully it holds the net so I bought that one today and put this bamboo cane and hopefully the snail will not be able to climb inside the snail usually they climb on top of the net and they will just nibble the leaves that they can reach so I hope that one stops them from eating it fingers crossed so the same with our with this one guys this one is our what they call this one again chart this is our Swiss chart so the same thing I put um, bamboo canes and sticks and yeah I got four thingies there so that the snails will not climb in and our um, pear tree guys look at this one oh, I've, I've been cutting the some of the pears they said it's important that you thin out the the fruits because if you see they got lots of fruits and it's a small pear tree so I'm not very sure if this tree would make it with all these fruits and I'm not quite sure if I thinned it out enough look oh and look, you got like four on this one and you got three over here there's three over there three on the top there's quite lots of them guys I don't know I lost count but there's quite a lot of them and some are already big so I feel so bad that I keep I keep taking off um, foot look I don't know if you can see it properly I've I've you know pulled a lot already like since they were little uh, I don't know I don't know we'll just hope that this at least some of them if not all will make it I can't wait to try I love pears not so much that I will buy it from the shop all the time but I would love to have pears in the garden yeah so so fingers crossed with our pear tree right so on this side naman guys look what I've done oh my goodness I think this one needs reinforcement <laughs> because the bamboos is moving a lot and hold on because the net fell off because this net is just hanging on here i need to tie them so it keeps i put the a flap of net on the top and it's kind of like it's caged but i don't know I, I don't really like looking at it that there's like bamboo sticking out but I want to I want to have a success successful peas and that I will be able to harvest them because it takes a lot of time and effort looking after them planting them buying the seeds for what look at that there's nothing left only a few of them left and they're also damaged very annoying pests this side naman I don't know I haven't shown you the, this before but I did transfer it a few days ago these are my runner beans not the long beans we have in the Philippines a different variety I forget the name but it's called runner beans and one of them already 
way guys all of it all the leaves by the slugs and snails if, oh, I don't know if there will be anything left for tomorrow I'm really really annoyed with the pest here <laughs> I feel like we can't really do anything successfully here with all these pest sneaky buggers like yep the same thing I don't like all this all this poking out but fingers crossed it will make it it's temporary once they're finished I'm gonna take them off so no big deal I know it's an eyesore <laughs> it's only an eyesore for us anyway because we're the only one looking at the uh, garden right so that's it for now some of our roses are already blooming over there so that's it oh guys by the way this one i got this one the other day from asta it's another blueberry and it's only four pound look blue crop blueberry four pound not too bad but Stu said it's a crap crappy one I don't know why he said that because there's only one stem on the bottom he said it's not really good but I don't mind it's only four pound and look at that there's already lots of fruits coming along that's not too bad for a four pound I'm sure it will grow yeah the other one doesn't look good I don't know I keep feeding that that plant but the same one with the other blueberries they look so yellow look at this strawberry guys they're getting bigger hi guys good good evening guys today is already six o'clock in the evening guys and um, earlier I was filming in here and well, I, I was talking about my tomatoes and other sort of plants I have here in the greenhouse. Guess what, guys? <laughs> Nakapenta na naman ako, guys. Yung tomatoes ko, they're all sold. They're all sold out. So I got 20 pounds. All the tomatoes, the, even the ones that I was planning to, to donate to the school, unfortunately, they got sold out. So, yes. I still got a few left. I'm gonna give it to the school, but the rest I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. So it's one pound each. He bought 15 pieces of tomatoes and I gave him one extra tomato and he also bought one cayenne pepper. So that's 16 pieces of tomatoes and one cayenne pepper. So I got extra. He said I'll give the change. I don't have coins. So yes. Oh my god, and his wife is Filipina as well. Oh my goodness, what a small world! And he's Turkish, so <laughs> I'll show you guys. One, it was full of tomatoes earlier, remember? So now it's all gone, all gone, guys. And the ones that was in here, I left one big one because it's big. I don't know why I didn't even think of giving that away, <laughs> but yeah, it's all gone except that one and then my cayenne pepper only one is left the other one is gone as well and then the ones over here the all of them most of them are gone there are only three left but yeah oh my gosh yep so that's it Oh gosh, I'm happy. 20 pounds. Oh my gosh. 